Hi, my name is Melissa Lepi, and I'm taking Dr. Levy's Intro to Special Ed 602 course um, at Toro. And today I'm going to be discussing differentiating instruction uh, using a sequencing unit uh, that I chose to do um, on the Very Hungry Caterpillar. This would probably be best in a kindergarten class, um, and the unit could take place over a week to two or three weeks, depending. I incorporated, incorporated excuse me, science, math, and writing. And um, the main focus of the lesson is that I am differentiating instruction, uh, which is very important considering that children learn at different times and at different levels. And um, it's very important that as an educator, you realize that the children in your classroom are learning at all different levels. So I pretty much took each content area and um, did like, like for example, like a low, a middle, and a high group. And um, I'll proceed with the lesson now. So after reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar, uh, for example, if you wanted to do a science lesson, um, these are some sequencing worksheets that um, I had done in the classroom. Uh, for the low group, your lower group, you would give them a diagram of the life cycle of the butterfly, and then they would have to color in the life cycle of the butterfly. That would be an example of something that the low group could do. Um, your middle group, you would have um, a little word bank up here, and they would cut and paste um, for example, eggs, caterpillar, chrysalis, and butterfly. They'd be cutting and pasting these words where they go, if it was stage one, stage two, stage three, or stage four. So that would kind of be like taking it a little bit of a step further than just coloring in the life cycle. But again, they're all learning the same thing, but just getting there in different ways. For the higher group, I would, um, again, use a word bank, but... Now, instead of with the middle group, there actually was a little bit of help. Um, some, of, some of the stages were filled in. The, the higher group would have to do everything on their own. And they would have to know stage one is, um, is the egg and etc. So um, that's something that I would do for a science unit. If we wanted to do a math unit, um, the days of the week is something really fun. And along with the book, reading the book again, you could also play a CD uh, that has the Days of the Week song as like a little intro to it. And um, the lower group, the students would be filling in the missing letter only for the Days of the Week. And then they would have to read them in order to you. Um, the, the middle group uh, would have a word bank, and then they would be filling in the missing Days of the Week when given a word bank and then read them out loud. Uh, but again, I, I filled in Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, so they were only responsible for filling in four of the days of the week. Again, working on the same thing, just doing it a little bit differently. The higher group would not have a word bank, and um, they would have to fill in all the days of the week, and then, of course, read them back without any help. And then, of course, they can color in the rocket that goes for for both of the groups. So that would be, so the science would be the life cycle, um, the math would be the filling in the days of the week, and then um, there would also be a writing piece to it. And um, this would be the main character's feelings. So the lower group, um, students would be given a closed sentence, for example, at the beginning of the story, the caterpillar felt um, and then they have choices, beautiful, hungry, or sick. They would cut and paste either beautiful, hungry, or sick on the line, and then they would draw a picture in the box. Um, in the middle of the story, the caterpillar felt they would choose beautiful, hungry, or sick, put it on the line, and then draw a picture in the box. Same thing for the last part. At the end of the story, the butterfly felt they would cut and paste their word, and then they would draw a picture to go along with it. Um, the middle group would have a have a word bank and the same exact closed sentence um, closed sentences, 
um, but they would have to create, at the beginning of the story, they'd have to add a little bit more. The caterpillar felt um, hungry because, etc. if you even wanted to take it a step further, depending. If it was kindergarten, it would probably just be at the beginning of the story, the caterpillar felt hungry. Um, in the middle of the story, the caterpillar felt um, sick because he ate too much, and then so on and so forth. And then again, of course, drawing a picture corresponding with whatever they wrote. And the higher group, um, excuse me, okay, um, again, beginning, middle, and end, but they're not getting help. They're not getting a closed sentence for help. So um, basically, just this, they would be um, writing independently the main character's feelings and then drawing in the provided space. So again, with the writing, the same as the science and the math, they're each, each group is doing the same thing. They're just doing it in a different way. So it's the same content. It's just getting there in a different way. They're all learning about the life cycle for the science. They're all learning about the days of the week for the math. And they're all learning about the main character's feelings for the writing. But they're coming to it in a different way. I hope you enjoyed uh, listening. Thank you so much.